Hi all, Mass Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today I'm here with a Dell M1000E Enterprise Blade Server Setup. I came by this full-sized 19-inch rack, floor to ceiling, all thrown out. And I think it would have a new price around 1 million Danish crowns, so you can divide by 7 to get that in dollars. So a good $166,000 worth of hardware. But this was in 2012 um, currency. So it is an old uh, server system and there is a reason it was thrown out. I can see that they would have exchanged a few parts already and the system was probably getting too old to uh, maintain. So they were going to do an upgrade. So let's take a look at the parts I took with me. I said this was a complete system. And you can see I do not have the complete system here. And that is why it was quite large, took up a whole um, 1000 liter container. So I did what I took all the power supplies from the sand controllers and the big network backbone switches. I took the power supplies from the main M1000E enclosure, which had two of these blade servers and some additional smaller blade servers, but those were destroyed or there was just uh, network interfaces. And then I also took 12 of these double-bladed turbine fans from the huge mainframe. They do actually take 7 amps at 12 volts, so a double-bladed fan at 100 watt that will make some serious noise. So we're going to have some fun with those in a later video. Now the large power supplies for the main server, it had, I think it was 5 or 6 of these. These are 12 volt at 197 amps. So that's 2400 watt. We can also see it takes the IEC 16 amp plug for the input. And just has a regular handle to pull it out. The connectors are four large spring loaded connectors here and we have a control part. I'm not sure what the pinout of, of this is, but I will find out. It is a uh, Dell ATSN model Z2360P. So probably uh, be able to look something up from that. Now the uh, SAN controllers with all the hard drives in them had these uh, nice axial fans. And it's a uh, EMC power supply. Gives out a 12 volt at 22 amps, so that's a nice little power supply. Also has the power outputs and a few control pins in the middle, so that's probably quite easy to repurpose into something else. Now the blade server itself, let's just get all these things away. Now we can concentrate on this blade server here. Now this takes 75 amps at 12 volt DC. And as many other blade servers, it is quite easy to take apart. What we have is a dual CPU motherboard with dual network interface sitting here at the back. And then we have two solid state drives or normal drives per CPU. So it is basically two computers sitting in one. Now, it is able to take up to 192 gigabyte of RAM and it runs on a Xeon Intel, Xeon 5500 or 5600 model. So let's just see what hides underneath here. So the CPU is a Intel Xeon from 2008, a Costa Rica 2.5 3 gigahertz with 8 megabyte level 2 cache and it's a 5548 5548 model let's just put that to the side and see seems like we have two kinds of ram here let's see the first few blocks here are samsung 4 gigabyte pc3 8500 and the smaller stick we have here that's also a 4 gigabyte PC3 10600 so it actually has 
a faster stick of RAM and some that are slower. I will have to look up the manual why it has this configuration because it seems like it has three sets of each. Normally you would see uh, even numbers when it comes to how many RAM slots you have for a CPU. So there must be a good reason why that this has a uneven set. You can see it says bank one four seven two five eight three. Ah, okay, so it actually is one th two three four five six seven eight nine. That's probably a very good reason for that. Let's see if we can pick up the network card. So this is just a small controller which connects down to the backbone. So you can actually upgrade this from one gigabyte or 10 gigabyte, depending on what interface you want. Let's see, maybe it is a different interface we have in the other side. does not give any speed specifications, but it is however clear that one controller is with heatsink and the other is not, so it's probably safe to assume we have a 10 gigabit and a 1 gigabit network card here. And then it also has a small memory card reader that is probably for system software updates or flash updates. You have a complete overview of how the unit is built, where you have the different cards, battery, RAM, CPUs. And we actually have an overview of how the slots are located here. And we can see we have the memory optimized RAM and we have the advanced ECC or mirroring RAM. So there's actually some different sequences to uh, spend if you're using a memory optimized or you want some advanced error correcting code RAM. This was a pretty quick teardown of a Blade server. I just couldn't let this be thrown out without showing you guys what's inside of one of these. So I hope you enjoyed it and until next time, see ya!